My dad always said, you can do whatever you want, but what are you going to give people? And he said, you know, I employ people and provide jobs. You've got to think about what you're giving back. And I guess I never really thought about artists, art as, as giving back, but it actually gives back in a huge way. Not because it has to be socially profound, but that if it brings joy to somebody, the fact that it can enlighten people and uplift their spirits in both simple and complicated ways, I think is pretty powerful. My name is Maywin Schantz. I live in Denver, Colorado, and I'm a landscape painter who works in oil on stainless steel. I can't remember a specific moment where I said, I want to be an artist. As I drew closer to school and the application process and went through some of the essay type things that you go through as you apply to school. There was more to art than, than I think I had realized as I looked at other artists who were making you know, great work. Artists are documenters of our times. They can inspire you. They can go beyond the visual realm of just what is there and create fantasy worlds. I started to, I guess, realize the power of that. I like to spend time outdoors, and my love of landscape comes from many summers spent um, canoeing in a particular part of the country known as the Boundary Waters. It's right at the border of min northern Minnesota and Canada, filled with lakes, and my dad started taking me there when I was 12 years old. My view of the world in a lot of my landscapes are um, sitting in the bow of a canoe with just that bounty in front of you. And everything is a possibility in that place. It was the first time I really felt immersed in nature and a part of nature and really exposed to nature. And so that was sort of my beginning, um, loving landscape, loving horizons, sitting on a rock, eating dinner, and watching the sun go down. I mean, those are magical times. Landscape is sort of the root of all my paintings, although I've diverged off into doing more um, like isolated elements of nature, trees, animals, that kind of thing. I think the thing that makes my work really unique is that I uh, paint on metal. I've found in my own work that the more I hone in on detail, the more life it loses. And I think the best part of my work is color and, and the brush strokes. I've worked so hard to have the smooth surface to show off my brush strokes that I don't want to keep beating them down to microscopic brush strokes. I like the gesture of big mark making. Oil paint is like butter. <laughs> So there is something about oil paint and when I squeeze out the tubes and I have all my colors lined up, um, it's like a kid in a candy store. There's just something seductive about the oil and the slickness. You can really lay it out in long, sweeping, wet strokes. And I think that's what I like about the metal too. It's slick and shiny. In fact, another part that I really love is mixing my palette. The fact that you can take you know, a limited number of paint tubes like your base colors and create just this endless quantity of colors on your palette that are all there for the grabbing, it's great. When people either, whether they buy it for their home or they just visit the gallery, I hope um, it's a desire to go out and, and get lost in nature again. I think it's also about acknowledging, you know, that we still can have this great relationship with nature and still be ourselves. It makes me feel really special that um, my work and what I do can impact people in such a profound way.
This episode of Beyond the Gallery is made possible by Colorado Creative Industries, the Betcher Foundation, and the National Endowment for the Arts.